Okay, so if you want to multiply these, we already showed you how to do the dispersion property. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can work that. The best thing I want to tell you is when doing a problem and you get stuck, it's like a trinomial times a trinomial or a binomial and a binomial. An easy way to work with this is just to create a rectangle. Mm -hmm. All right, and what we're going to do is for how many terms, that's how you're going to segment your rectangle. So since this is a binomial, I'm going to set this I'm going to split this box into two parts. And since this is a trinomial, I'm going to break this up into three parts. Okay? Mm -hmm. And what you do is you just put each part um, positive. And you just put each part there. X, and that's a positive Y so right there. Okay? So you put one side on there and the yeah. other side here. Now all we're doing, when you multiply, you're actually finding the area. Right? When you when I say like three times four, that's actually creating like an area of a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So that's all you're gonna do. So this is a good way to organize it, especially if you if you're getting lost, you know, or like you're getting all this work messed up. So write it out like this, so then everything's organized. X times x squared is x cubed. X times two xy is two x squared y. X times negative y squared is a negative x y squared. Then do this thing. So this height versus this width is y x squared. y times 2xy is 2xy squared. y times negative y squared is a negative y cubed. Then we look, do we see, do they have any like terms, anything I can combine? No. So then you just write out your answer. Good. x cubed um, plus 2x squared y minus xy squared um, plus y x squared plus 2xy squared minus yy cubed. Okay?